Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with another reading which is going to be for all of you out there who really want to know about your future spouse. This reading is definitely going to help you know that. It's going to be a collective read for all the people watching it. So let's see who is coming towards you, who is going to be your future spouse. We're going to tap into all of that in this reading. So stay tuned and just be mindful. It's a general reading. Pikmin it will not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So with the first card here, I really feel like your future spouse is going to take some time. So you have to just go patient around it. Try to be like... um. Try to relax, try to know that it's going to happen when the time is right. Um, I really feel like, you know, um, this time is better for you to use and utilize. Um, preparing yourself up for this wonderful experience of your life. Um, make sure that you take good care of yourself. Start preparing yourself to meet that one person. Um, I feel like, you know, for some of you, uh, this person is... Hmm. This person could be somebody who is a water sign. Um. This person could be into gardening. Like you know, this this person could have like lots of love for plants, and you know, gardening could be their hobby for some of you. Um. But this person is going to be somebody who's, who, you know, I really don't think that this person is already a part of your life. So you're yet to meet your, your future spouse is what I see here. Uh, you might meet this person through, um, you know, um, a common um, interest activity or something. Um, you might meet this person out in the nature. Uh, close to again like you know um, greenery or plants or something like that you might meet them in a in a park or something uh, but this person has a strong love for plants nature um, they are going to be very uh, soft spoken this person is uh, this person is going to be like probably the same height as yours um, pretty more The experience that you're going to have with this person is going to be mind-blowing. I really feel like, you know, this is something which is going to be like the emotional experience that you wanted to have, which is like deeper, which is which has a potential to go deeper. Like, you know, your connection with this person is going to be more um, where you and them would be open to express feelings. You know, they would not want to hide or shy away from expressing. Um, you might meet this person um, through social event, again, which could be... For some of you, you could be dealing with the same field or work um, where, where you are going to be invited and this person is also going to be a part of that you know, event or something. Um, but this person is going to be very gentle and loving. Um, this person could be like artistic, very sensitive, very emotionally available kind of a person. Um, I really see you having a lot of communication with this person. So whoever this person is, you and them are definitely going to have a lot of communication. Uh, again, like I said earlier, you could be same height of this person. Um, I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, your guides, your angels have been guiding you to move on from something or someone. And they have been noticing that you haven't been able to move on from something or someone. Now, this person can walk into your life as a friend for some of you, which can also help you to break free from the toxic person that you're still stuck on for some of you. Um, I really feel like, you know, the, this person entering in your life in, in a very unexpected way is a sign from the divine that you got to move on. You got to listen to the inner voice. And since you have been ignoring the inner voice and the intuition that you have been having around a specific someone that you are already currently dealing with, maybe, um, divine is going to present you this person because this is going to be someone who's going to help you um, understand what you cannot understand otherwise. Maybe the person that you are with, maybe they don't treat you well. Maybe they don't. Um, they are not emotionally available. 
And this future spouse of yours is emotionally available. So you're going to realize that you deserve someone like this, not the one that you're stuck on. So um, I really see that for a majority of you, your connection with this person is... Uh, I really feel like, you know, because you're going to be stuck on the past relationship, you will have your issues with this person, but they will be based on you, not on the other person. But the good thing is because with this person, you will be having a lot of communication. You will be having a lot of um, openness and, you know, ex you and them will not be shying away from expressing yourself, which is the reason why you would not struggle uh, taking this relationship forward, which you probably have been in your previous relationships. So you are going to realize that, you know, this is exactly what you wanted in your relationships when you meet this person, when you be with this person. So I really see it to be something which is going to grow stronger with every passing day. So it's not going to be love at first sight or like, you know, even if it is going to be a love at first sight, it's not going to be expressed, you know, uh, in a way where like, you know, uh, you're going to feel like taking a relationship next level. No, you both are going to handle it maturely. You're going to spend time together. You're going to see for it, you know, uh, how, how you like each other and then you will decide. But I really feel like, you know, this person is going to be somebody who is very successful, very rich, very stable. And um, this person is like somebody who's going to bring a lot of blessings in your life as well. Once they walk in your life, they will bring a lot of blessings in your life. This person is somebody who's a well-achieved um, kind of a, or well-recognized kind of a person. Um, this person is somebody who's going to also help you. If you're having financial struggle right now, this person is going to help you with that. They will bring you unexpected opportunities to improve your career path. Um, and this person can also bring... Um, unexpected way of um growing your income is what i see here as well so this person can be somebody who is like a mentor for some of you but whoever this person is they are like somebody who is an expert at something at least is what i see here and people like you know they they, they value this person and their knowledge is what i see here so um this person is going to be somebody who is going to be um heaven heaven sent because it's it's going to be nothing less than a miracle, a blessing, which you have been waiting on for. But you were stuck on the wrong person to receive this miracle and blessing from. Um, this is going to be like a gift which is on its way to you. I feel like, you know, you are yet to meet this person. So the, the soulmate that you are or the, the, the future spouse that you're meant to be with, this is yet to enter in your life. Um, they are on, its, on their way to you. Um, just know that. This person can also be somebody who is into charity, um, you know, and maybe they are like, you know, they own a charity organization or something like that as well. Charitable organization or something like that. This person is going to be very generous with whatever they have. This person is going to be like, um, you know, someone who's going to work with, um, you know, maybe they have something to do with social work or something as well. Uh, but this person is going to be somebody who is like, who has a lot of creative ideas is what I see here. Um, let's see more cards about this person, your future spouse. You might meet this person in a charitable uh, event as well for some of you. Um, they are definitely going to be an old school, you know, um, person kind of, uh, you know, somebody who, who believes in the old way of doing things. Uh, you know, they are not somebody who's going to be like sleeping around or like dating and uh, fucking around random people. They are not like somebody like that. They do have a strong family values is what I see here. Uh, so it seems like, you know, this person is going to be like a perfect match for you. Um, let's see some more cards here. What else can you get to know about your future spouse? You might see white roses when you meet this person. You might see roses in general, but white roses maybe uh, when, when you're about to see this person or meet this person. This person is going to treat you like a king or queen, like an empress or the emperor. This person is going to value you and make you feel how worthy you are of love and commitment. And again, that's, you know, it's, it's the way they're going to treat you is going to make you feel like falling in love with this person is what I see here. So it's going to be a very slow progressing energy uh but yes they're gonna make you feel like a queen is what i see here 
So your relationship with them is going to be very beautiful. Um, they will prove to be the perfect partner. And that's when you're going to realize that, okay, fine, maybe we can take things forward with each other. I really feel like you know, it's not going to be like a one, uh, you know, you decided it in a one go or one day. No, it's going to be like with the way you spend time with this person, you're going to realize that, yes, maybe he or she is the one. Uh, you are going to be intuitively um, guided by heavens that he or she is the one. Um, let's see. This person will be very expressive with their words. And they will value you a lot. They're going to feel like you are very confident and uh, you are very... Um, You have a, you know, what we call it, um, somebody who is very opinionated, somebody who knows what you want. Um, but somehow, with your previous relationships, you might have, um, you might have overdone yourself. And you allowed your love to take charge of the situations and which made you kind of like, you know, suffer. And this person can help you heal from that is what I see here. And they know that you're a good, genuine person, but uh, they they would want you to, I feel like you know, for a majority of you who are watching this reading, um, no matter what you, you know, what your gender is, you're masculine or feminine, watching it, um, you always tend to become um, the gentle most person with the person that you are dealing with you know you you put them on pedestal and then you are taken for granted with this person here whoever it is that is coming in your life they would have a balanced energy they would be like you know so balanced that you know they're not going to make you feel like you know you are you are oh you know you have to take care of this relationship or you have to do this in this relationship they will be always like you know working like a team towards it so that is also something which you're going to you know, which is also going to be a confirmation that he or she is the one because you would feel like it's not about um, the gender. It's not about like, you know, she has to do it or he has to do it, this and that. It's going to be like a teamwork. And the connection that you're going to build with them is going to be like something which is going to stay there. I really feel like, you know, for some of you, this person um, will enter in your life and then you would have six months time before the two of you could uh, take things forward with each other this relationship is going to grow stronger and deeper on a daily basis it is going to take six months from when you meet this person to the time where the two of you decide to take things forward with each other so that's what i see coming in very strong here um if you want to know the signs of this person let's see who they could be This person can be an earth sign, water sign. They could have fire in their chart, stronger uh, at that. They can be Sagittarius. Um, they can be Scorpio. Yeah, again, a Scorpio and Aquarius. So these could be your person signs, or maybe they, the signs that I mentioned, maybe they are your sign as well for some of you, but yes, I uh, that's what I see coming through for you. Um, hmm. Let me have a look at the cards if there is something else that I'm picking up here that I want to talk about. You will be visiting a holy place after you get married to this person. Holy or spiritual, whatever you may call it. Because I really think that this person is going to be somebody who is going to be like very grateful for having you in their life. And they would want to thank God, uh, whichever God they believe in. And they would want to take you with them to, to show their gratitude to the God they believe in. And uh, that's how they want to celebrate this relationship with you is what I see here. So yeah, that's what I see coming up for you for this reading. If it was of help, don't forget to like, and share, and subscribe. Till I do the next read. Uh, take care and if you're willing to
to purchase any of the services that I offer, check the description box for that. Take care. Bye.